Hi, this is a brief introduction to Lake Tanganyika, a rift lake. You'll find out how it was formed, where it is, and why it's so important. Lake Tanganyika is a huge lake that's found in Africa. So where exactly is Lake Tanganyika? Well, it's located in East Africa, surrounded by the four countries of Burundi, Tanzania, Zambia, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The lake is the single largest source of income in the region. Lake Tanganyika isn't just a typical big lake. It's also the longest lake in the world, the second deepest lake, and it contains 60% more water than Lake Superior. Lake Tanganyika is also Africa's largest freshwater reservoir. Next up, you'll see some footage of Lake Tanganyika taken from the Burundi side of the lake. Lake Tanganyika is also unique in that it's very biologically diverse, and it has over 500 species of plants, fish, and invertebrates that are found nowhere else in the world. The most well-known of these unique species are the cichlids, a type of freshwater fish found in great variety in Lake Tanganyika. So how are rift lakes formed? As you know, tectonic plates are always on the move at about the same pace as your fingernails are growing. In some places, tectonic plates are moving apart from each other, forming a divergent boundary. If a divergent boundary forms between two continental plates, a rift valley will be created. Once a rift valley has formed, water may begin to collect on the bottom of the valley, forming a rift lake. While not a very common type of lake, some rift lakes are quite impressive in terms of their size. For example, three of the six deepest lakes in the world are rift lakes, Baikal, Tanganyika, and Malawi. These same three lakes are also three of the nine largest lakes in the world. Here you can see a cross-section of a rift valley formed by the divergent movement of two continental plates. Note that water has collected at the bottom of these valleys, forming rift lakes. Thanks for watching!